Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Vloggerween or Gemma Ween as it's known as around here. My name's Gemma and if you've been watching the series you'll have seen the video where myself and Fred went to um, Irving Apple Festival and we bought a big bag of apples that were grown there in their orchards and they were really sour when we tasted them. So I've got loads of them and I saw a recipe on Facebook for, for apple butter. I've never had apple butter before. I think it's an American thing. I think I had it when I went to Brooklyn and had pancakes. Um, that's what it reminds me of. So I peeled and chopped the apples and this recipe calls for it to go into the crock pot so and to cook for about four to six hours. I just used brown sugar, cloves, cinnamon, a little pinch of salt. I'll put the recipe in the um, comments down below all goes in there as you can see it's cooking away nicely there it looks very dark it's probably because i used the really dark brown sugar so i don't know if it would be different if you use the lighter version um but yeah it looks like it's going well we'll cook it for a bit longer so it's done now and now all we have to do is blend it and um, so that's what we're going to do here is blend it up into the puree um, because it still had quite a bit of bits. Now the recipe said to blend until there was no bits of apple left. So that's what I did. Um, and here it is, the finished product. Um, I'm quite pleased with it really. It made a whole jar and this little bit as well. So we're going to have it on those maple um, bagels and to be honest it was delicious and Fred liked it as well so we've got a whole jar of it if you've got any recommendations what to do with the rest of it let me know so we've taken a walk into town and we're looking in the charity shops and I really want one of these wee willy winky candlestick holders but they wanted £25 for this one so I hummed and hard about it but I didn't get it in the end So we're in Weber's Boons and we're trying this um, Korean chicken. Korean sticky Korean chicken katsu curry. I've got the corn version and Fred's got the new version. Chicken version. So we're going to see what it's like, aren't we? It looks nice. What do you think? I can always enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Might have to get a second one if it tastes this nice as it looks. Well, this is Fred's. He's got a coconut rice. And then this one. Um, it's my one which is corn. It looks like chicken nuggets. Yes. Am I going to have to eat your chilies for you? Probably. Not until you first. I'll try one. It's got the sticky sauce and it's got a coconut rice. So we're going to try it and see what it's like. Yeah, ready. A few chilies. That's quite sweet chilies, you know. They're hot, they're spicy. It's a bit spicy, but it's sweet. Really mm. hot. I wish you not done it yeah. I'm not going to eat my chilies to be honest. I'm going to try some of the coconut rice and the sauce. Really nice. Mm. Coconut rice is nice. And the um, sauce on the chicken is nice. The sticky sauce. So mine are obviously like corn chicken nuggets. I hope, have you given me the right ones? Yeah. You want the chicken? Chicken. Not bad for both of them. I shouldn't have put the whole thing in my mouth. Huh? I shouldn't have put the whole thing in my mouth. They're quite big. Yeah, they're just like corn chicken nuggets. They're really nice. So if you're a vegetarian or vegan, this is a good meal with the with the I'm gonna try some with the coconut rice now. Nice. I like chicken really nice, tender. Mm. Do a bit more on the sticky sauce. Yeah. That's nice. 
We've been here for a while, we've been waiting for this table, for this food. About an hour and a half. Yeah, so we've had like, we seem a bit like drunk because we've had like, I've had two pints of cider. A few shots. We've well, had a few shots. I'm one so, shot ahead of you. I need this food to soak up the alcohol. I'm not like a, a big drinker really. How's your beer? Not too bad, to be fair. What is it? I don't know, I never heard of it before. Oh. Okay, so uh, we're in the turf in Wrexham and the people on the table next to us are Americans. You could, I don't know if you can hear them um, in this footage. But Fred is fuming. Why are you fuming, Fred? I'm the only American here. Are you the only American in the village? Oh, I was when I first came here. <laughs> It's the next day now. I've been a bit worse for wear all day. I'm all right. You're all right. Um, I'm worse for wear. <laughs> we had too much to drink, I think. I'm I think not, we mixed everything as well. I'm not drink. Well, you, were, you were buying shots. Yeah. Luckily, I've had the day off work today, but I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, so we just, uh, we were really surprised, we went to, we've never been to the church That was before. first time, yeah. Um, I don't know why, we just haven't, have we? Because um, it's only around the corner from our house, um, and it's sort of attached to the to the Wrexham football stadium. It's like heavily featured in this Ryan Reynolds... Re Ryan Reynolds documentary. Yeah, on, on Disney. So we went in there, and it was actually all right, but it was, we were surprised, yeah. weren't we? I mean, in that last bit of footage, we were joking. Um, about Fred being the only American in the village <laughs> because like literally was everybody like, was from overseas well there was two tables full of Americans wasn't yeah. there um, table from Australia uh, the, yeah the people next to us were from Sydney and I thought they were locals they had like the Wrexham kit on and stuff and then another group of men came and sat down on the table like right by us after that bit of footage and um, they another, were all from, another, where another, were they from? Texas? Texas. And there yeah. were some people from, was it Minnesota, I said? Or Milwaukee? I don't know. I thought we were There was someone know. from another way. I never yeah. seen so many Americans. Yeah. Um, These were nice to talk to my um, You didn't want to talk to anyone, did you? <laughs> and then in the end, I spoke to the... Texans. To the Texans that were next door to us. They were quite nice. They'd come, so they'd come plan their whole holiday around coming to Wrexham. Um... They were also going to see like the Man United ground and the Liverpool grounds and go so going to Manchester and Liverpool, which are much better in my opinion, are much better places to go. Um, but they were more excited about going to Wrexham, so that was an eye opener to go to the local pub and find Yeah, them, no uh, locals. Ev well everyone's like on holiday. <laughs> um so that was um that was fun, wasn't it? Meeting the pub them. Was nice, they were nice, yeah. And I we, quite yeah. liked it there to be fair. Yeah. So I just thought I'd wrap up this video now, just to explain a bit, and we'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, oh we didn't offend no one. We didn't offend anyone. Um, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, if we can make a video now. Um, take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.